Hey guys, Coach Eric here. Hey, one of the things that is a very strong focus with my players and that we work on quite a bit is um, the different forms of practice. So in order to acquire and become an expert at a certain skill, we need to make sure that we're varying what we do and we call that variable practice. So I've got a video of myself here that I'm gonna go ahead and just run through and it's me hitting pitch shots to the same target. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a certain skill in this case, pitching or chipping, and I'm varying the way that I play the shot, and I'm reacting to what I'm seeing the ball do. So I'm hitting high shots, I'm hitting low shots, um, I'm changing my stance, I'm changing my body lines, I'm changing the loft of the club, the shaft angle. So I'm varying the way I do things with the exact same club, which is my lob wedge, and I'm learning to play the same shot in different ways according to how it's going to happen out on the golf course. So there may be a different scenario. There may be a time when I need to have a high shot, may be a time where I feel more comfortable hitting a low checker and I want to check it in there. Um, and so here, here I am just kind of going through the shots. I start with a standard low. I take the club outside just a little bit on that first one and I let the club drop in. Got a fairly square stance here, square face take the club back and I'm kind of feeling as though I almost cut across the ball here. And then you'll see me slowly start to make, make adjustments. So I've got pretty square, I'm going about 20 yards. You can see I take it up and then out and across. Uh, one of the things that happens when I do the, the up, out and across is I'll catch the, the contact on the toe just slightly, which believe it or not, with that low trajectory will still create some spin, but it lowers the smash factor a little bit. So I'd like to see that smash factor on a wedge shot, you know, under one, which means that the ball is coming off the face a little bit slower than the club head speed. And that softens the shot. So you can see here, I start to make a little bit of an adjustment. And as we start to run through, I'm gonna start to slowly practice opening the club. Now here we go, I'm gonna open it just a little more, square my stance, even open it, okay? And I can see those balls, those low ones especially, are checking fairly well, okay? We don't wanna kill the guy on the back of the green. So there I went and I opened my stance a little bit more. I opened the face and I took it outside and across just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna to try to hit some higher flop shots here. Okay, where I'm just gonna really drop the club behind the ball. And I'm actually gonna catch the ground first with the pressure on my lead side here. And I'm just gonna let it drop nice and high. And it has a little bit of spin on it, but I'm using trajectory mostly here to hit this shot. Now I'm gonna close my stance and I'm gonna bring it from the inside. I'm gonna hit low little draws. This one is gonna be what I call the check and trickle. This ball is gonna hit the green and it's gonna check and then it's gonna trickle to the to the flag. So I'm gonna be picking a landing spot here, um, reading it like a putt and letting it hopefully hit my spot, letting it trickle down towards the flag, okay? Changing my body lines, there I go, open up, drop my hands a little bit, hit a little bit higher one here. All right, so when you're practicing, utilize the variable practice routine and you'll get really good at a particular skill. All right, good luck.